Hello, this is David Ahmed, and here's another picture from David Bingo. I mean, another video from David Bingo. I'm gonna teach you today how to tether the Samsung Galaxy Prevail. It pretty much works on any phone, but and it's a simple way of tethering it, even because there's not much on the Samsung Galaxy Prevail. And I personally think it's the simplest way instead of for phones that doesn't have portable hotspot just like the samsung galaxy prevail see no portable hotspot all right so first what you need to download is this right here it is called easy tether you can just get it off the android market for free you just hit market hit the menu and then hit the search button and and you can just do PDA net see PDA net and then you click all apps you scroll down and you see easy tether right that's it right there okay then you need to open it if then you click settings right and then you click the setup sorry for the focusing but here this, if you have a windows star windows xp or windows 7 if you have a mac here um linux here Hmm? And Linux is here. So what you can do is I have a Windows. So here, and then if you and then I downloaded the files on my phone. So then you follow the directions to do it. Financial losses stop today. Amen. Alright. So, once you downloaded the files on your phone, you can just you can just go right ahead and plug your phone to the plug your phone to the computer and set and you can set it to to mass storage mode. All right, I plugged my phone in. See, it's plugged in. So now, what you need to do is, you see here, you go to the USB connected and turn on mass storage mode and click OK. And then it will load, and then this will show up. You can put your phone down and go to your computer screen. You might see this, or you might not. If you see this, you just simply need to go to open folder to view files. And if you don't see it, you can just press the menu button, which is right here. Menu button. You can press that. Then you can go to computer. And then you see it right here. All right. Then you need to search here. Downloads. I already searched it, so download. All right. Then you click download E. This one right here. Hallelujah, hallelujah. No more and then here's easy, and you see the easy tether. Then you need to drag it to, to then you need to drag it to your computer. But don't, ins but drag it to your computer, which will be, bear with me for a second, which will be right there. Then afterwards, you'll then need to unplug your phone from the computer to do it the safe way so your phone doesn't mess up or get hacked or anything you go here and you click the button right there 
and it will remove your phone from USB storage. And mine's loading. I'll come back to you when. Oh, all right. When you done that, then you need to unplug your phone. All right. We're back to the easy tether. You need to click it, and then you need to install everything necessary. So I already installed it, so that's done. She's already installed it, that's done. That will be done. So then, afterwards, So then, after so then afterwards you do that, what you need to do is you need to plug your phone back again. I'll get back to you when I do that. Okay, so now it is put back in there. See. So now what you need to do is press menu. Go to settings, then you scroll up and click applications, then development and USB debugging and you click OK. And you know when it's one, you can't see it but it says USB debugging connected. Then you'll just go back to your home screen, click PDA Net, and you can just scroll all the way to this, scroll all the way to this page. See, the but it's, okay, so after you're on that page, all you have to all you have to do now is go to yes that and USB tether and click the USB that's all you have to do and then afterwards you have to go to the USB connected and it doesn't matter if it's on charging or ask or anything it will just say turn on USB storage that's what's necessary and needed in order to tether. So it will be loading for a second. All right, it's done. You can see this, or so once you see this, you or might not see this again, or you might not even see this. I mean, but if if you see this, just close it. Then you need to go. You need to click this button and go to Easy Tether. But if you don't see this, all you have to do is press this button right here and search Easy Tether. All right, so you'll see it right here. Then you just have to click on it, and then afterwards you click here, and it will and it will be there. So easy tether not connected. Then what you do is you press connect via Android. You might have a number, you might not, but because you have an Android, connect via Android. Alright, I click that. Then once it's done, it would say connection established and fade away. So then you can go to Internet Explorer, Firefox, doesn't really matter what what um 
um web browser you have. So just go to your web browser, right? And then here, here is it. See, there is your internet. So you can go to any website you want. Just be careful to go to the website you're going to. So, so the. Just be careful to the web plus you're going to it so they because so they don't contain viruses or anything because what some websites contain viruses but nothing will happen to your phone if you don't go on any website that have viruses if you have Kaspersky Avira or McAfee or any other anti antivirus it usually scans the websites for viruses so it should be covered with that so now you can go any website you want I'm going to go to Yahoo all right it's on Yahoo see now this is the absolute easiest way to get US USB tether on your Samsung Galaxy Prevail or any other Android that doesn't have that doesn't have portable hotspot so and it's for Android too toodles bye and this is video number two by David Ahmed the subscribe button by David Ahmed okay now I'm gonna go to YouTube Okay, I'm on YouTube. You and then so just subscribe. Subscribe to me cuz I'm awesome and bye.